I think with kids who are maybe more in the center, uh, who are maybe more unwilling to want to participate in these state sanctioned religious rituals, which is what they are, but they kind of have to because we've structured the economy in sort of the way that we tell kids about their future such that they literally do not believe that there's any path that they can pursue other than getting a college education. I think this is probably even more so the case uh, up in the north there, Guy. But even where we are, you know, people really believe, the average high schooler believes that they are going to have to go to college immediately following high school. And so they often just think to themselves, well, you know, I kind of enjoyed my psychology class or I kind of enjoyed my biology class. So I guess now I have to go get a four-year degree that's going to cost tens of thousands of dollars in whatever field most closely aligns with what I like vaguely had fun doing while I was in high school. So I think that's probably part of it. It's sort of like they don't have any other options uh, that they're aware of. I think the second part of it is that there's no real notion of identity amongst young people. Uh, we've virtually had all of our identities that we could be um, feeling as though we are aligned with stripped away from us systematically through the public education system and reinforced by the media narrative. So people don't identify anymore with their faith, with their family, with their nation, anything. And so the only identity that we really have that can still hold us all together is that we're all citizens of the globalist American empire. And so you, you know, display that identity by going along with the narratives. That is how virtue is defined. So the way that like a devout Catholic would display their identity by coming to school, for example, with ashes on their forehead, that would be a sign of virtue amongst my faith. Uh, we can't do that anymore. And so, or maybe we do do that, but people don't understand what that means. That's not a currency that is redeemable in the eyes of the public anymore for like, that is what a good person looks like. Now, a good person is solely defined by how willing they are to celebrate the rituals of the state. And one of those would be things like, uh, you know, not just getting vaccinated, but wearing, you know, the like, I'm vaccinated, a little, little, you know, sticker, or, you know, the get vaccinated hashtags on social media, wearing the face mask, still doing so in your car, updating your profile picture on social media to a photograph of you in a face mask. Things like this are all meant to say to other people, I am a part of the in-group. I'm a part of the club. I Oh, this is what we're doing, and I'm a team player. But there's no real thought as to what this actually means if that were to be removed. It is like the NPC meme. It is just simply wanting to go along with the trends without giving it actually uh, any, any introspection.